Hey everyone, John with the Base Training Team. We're out here today on one of our training bands showcasing our new fourth generation product. Uh, today we're going to cover some installation best practices, specifically around our combiner 6C. Uh, so first, uh, through feedback from a lot of you guys in the field installing us on a daily basis, uh, we have improved the actual bed front to a three screw type. So we have two screws here at the top and one here on the center. We've also incorporated a couple handles for easy on, easy off. Make sure before you do pull off the actual bed front that you remove the self-shaped USB cable right down here. Alrighty, um, a couple best practices here. Let's talk about conduit entry. So at the bottom, uh, make sure that you are aware of the structural supports. So this does support up to a two and a half inch here in between those structural supports. Uh, the sides and the back, you can go up to a two inch. Now, something that's actually new and unique to the Combiner 6C is we now have top entry ports uh, for your conduit. Uh, that have pre-grounded plates on that. So all you need to do is remove the cover here on the back. And as you can see here from factory, it comes with an inch and a quarter. Again, these plates are pre-grounded. Um, one nice thing is you can see we have our 10 feet battery here. So you could choose to come down into like a trough or gutter, or you could simply just do a chase, line up your boxes and go straight into the side up here. Now, Enphase does recommend going into the upper right for your batteries. Reason B is the battery bus bar is on the right side of the combiner. Now we have symmetrical over here on the actual left-hand side. Um, we recommend now from Enphase that the PV comes in on this side, just because we have the PV bus bar here on the left-hand side. So it's just less looping, less conductor length and stuff like that. If you come in the right side for the battery, the left side with the PV. Yeah. We do ship three different plates uh, with those pre-grounded uh, plates. So you have a three-quarter, a one-inch, and a one-and-a-quarter-inch. So you can swap those out. Now, being pre-grounded, you may still have an AHJ that requires uh, a ground bushing. So without moving the fans, it's a little tight to get your hand in there to get those uh, installed. So right in front of those actual uh, plates are, are going to be another little uh, uh, um, compartment. So in order to get a little more room in there, you're going to want to remove these four screws. I think those are a T20 bit which will actually remove the fan here. Make sure you do unplug it. And that's gonna give you access to actually get in there and get that ground bushing put on. Uh, once you get that ground bushing put on, go ahead and reinstall the fan with the screws and then make sure you do plug that in. Uh, one last thing, talking about the conduit entry up here on the upper right and the upper left is the actual cover plate. So this is pre-production. Uh, production will actually have concentric knockouts on those three different sizes. So it just gives another layer of protection for that conduit entry there. A couple more things uh, in the combiner here is we do have our uh, labeled and included uh, hold down kit. So it's phased for you. Um, in order to install breakers, as you see we have here, you need to remove these three screws, install the breaker that you're installing, and then replace that with these three screws here. So you cannot uh, put the breaker on uh, without removing the actual hold down kit. Talk a little bit about wire management. Um, so again, Enphase recommends uh, when you're landing your PV circuits, battery circuits, uh, even your EV circuit, if you have one, is just manage the wires nice with uh, zip ties, uh, you know, make them nice, uh, you know, coming up and down the sides of the actual finer. And then last but not least is the back feed uh, coming out of the actual combiner to your main panel. Uh, so these lugs support up to a two aught wire size. So when these are larger wires, um, if you need access to your gateway for any reason, um, it'll be a little tough to actually kind of pull them to the side. And we actually recommend you not doing this. Uh, so what the, we've done on the gateway, we've actually improved it. So this is pre-production with one screw. This one would flip up 
which would make it a little difficult if you have the, the larger wire size. So what we've done is we've actually included two screws in the production models, which will just fold down uh, and that'll give you access to your gateway for what reasons you need. You can actually slip it right back underneath and then attach it with those two screws without having to pull or remove those actual wires uh, for those back feet. I hope this video helps you guys with your installation and makes you guys a little more efficient. And uh, drop us any comments if you guys have any questions on the product. Thank you.